Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a quick video for preparing yourself for the Windows 10 April 2019 update. Uh, we're going to talk about disk space in this video. How much space do you need for a upgrade to the next version of Windows 10? Technically, if you have more than 5 gigabytes of space, you probably will be um, okay. You'll probably have enough space to update to the next version. But of course, having more than 10 gigabytes is better. And um, what you could do is go and check out with your file explorer and click this PC and look at the space on your C drive. So you see here I've got 828 gigabytes free, which will not be a problem for me. But if you have, you know, those small tablets or um, ultra low cost PCs you might have a very small hard drive and notice that the space left is not enough well the first thing you should do is first of all make sure that going drive C you don't have a windows.old folder that folder might contain files from a previous windows install before the upgrade and that will take a lot of space on your hard drive of course make sure that you back up um, a lot of the files that you might have that take a lot of space, video files, for example, if you got some videos, well, maybe temporarily put them in another location or in the cloud as you do the upgrade to free up space. You can, of course, right-click on your disk C and go into the properties. And here you will have some um, thing called disk cleanup. By clicking disk cleanup, it's going to open the disk cleanup utility. You will see here everything that takes space on your hard drive. So look at what you can actually clean in here. For example, I could clean 41 gigabytes in the recycle bin. So you see these are taking a lot of space. You can put check marks in front of what is taking a lot of space. Now say that in here you don't have enough. Well, you can also click what's called clean up system files. Here, you'll have a more advanced disk cleanup that will actually show you when those update files left behind. It will actually um, look at anything left behind of previous installs. So when that is done, you might have actually enough space. Here, for example, Windows Update Cleanup, 4.34 gigabytes of Windows Update stuff in here. So that could actually clear enough space for you to actually have everything working. So just make sure that you clean as much space as possible using the disk cleanup if you actually uh, don't have a lot of space on your hard drive. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.